Hi everybody. So, uh, you know, I, I'm testing out some new video capture equipment and uh, I'm, I'm using it to, you know, hopefully help me capture some more of my videos a little bit better. I lost quite a bit of content using some different programs and I'm hoping this, this new program will allow me to continue making content, not lose anything, and, and, and hopefully start making a little bit better and more engaging content for you guys. Uh, but I thought what better way of um, testing out this new video equipment and uh, software than to uh, celebrate a major milestone. So some of you might know of the Volt Stats website or the Bolt EV Stats website. Well, we have about 200 registered Bolt EV owners and uh, it's a really big milestone. The two, you know, it's less than 200 of us, but we just passed a million miles driven um, on electricity uh, no you know no gasoline no diesel used a, a million miles of electrical driving uh, and, and I think that's a huge milestone and you know it's just uh, a couple hundred of us who've uh, done that so this isn't even representative of the whole uh, population of Bolt EV owners so uh, kudos to all of you guys congratulations this is I think I personally think it's a big deal um, you know and I, I wanted to use this too as an opportunity of maybe walking through the Bolt EV um, stats website just kind of showing you guys what it looks like um, you know this is the home page uh, you know here's my vehicle listed uh, you know there's a someone with almost 30,000 miles on their Bolt EV but that we believe this is a GM uh, employee uh, they live out in Michigan, Ann Arbor, but you'll notice the, the VIN number is a little bit um, different than everybody else's. So we're thinking they they maybe had their Bolt EV three or four months ahead of actual uh, customer delivery. Uh, but, you know, and there are a few other high mileagers. Uh, a couple of them, I believe, are members of what they call the Bolt EV smugglers or the Bolt smugglers. They uh, were able to get their Bolt EVs out of California uh, before uh, GM pushed that kibosh on California dealerships selling to people out of state. So, um, yeah, so there are a couple other high mileage drivers, a few more people, 15, 16 uh, thousand miles, that uh, they're probably not <laughs> leasing, they're probably uh, purchased like I did. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to go through the website a little bit. Uh, you know, the they have an achievements page that uh, right now only shows uh, the, to the most miles driven in a single 24-hour period. Uh, right now you can see there's quite a few high, high mileages. Uh, uh, seven of us are over 500 miles. A few of us are just short of that. Um, and, uh, you know, here's me, six. Now, like, I do a lot of 500-plus mile trips, but very rarely are they much more than that. Um, and, and, you know, personally, I just don't drive that much in a single day. Uh, you know, who knows, I might end up taking some trips later that actually exceed this, but uh, for right now, yeah, this is this more represents those typical monthly trips that I end up taking. Uh, and again, this is 24 hour period, so this is more one way, but um, I, I think these numbers also sort of clearly disprove that, uh, that notion that the Bolt EV is only a city car. That's That's clearly not the case. With even a moderately built out DC fast charging uh, network, you can drive as far comfortably in a Bolt EV as you could drive in an internal combustion engine vehicle. And I mean, I want to emphasize comfortably, obviously there are some road warriors out there who want to drive 15, 16, 1700 miles in a single day. I don't think that's representative of the average person. Uh, it's probably not good for your kidneys or your bladder, but you know, some people might want to do that. But uh, I, I've actually found, I mean, even though my Bolt EV uh, on these like 500 mile trips maybe takes about an hour longer than it took when I was driving my Volt. Uh, so instead of say maybe nine and a half, nine to nine and a half hours in my Volt, it was, it's taking me about 10 hours in my Bolt EV. Um, you know, in some ways it's actually a more relaxing journey because uh, you know, I'm stopping for a meal anyway, and those other 30 to 45 minute stops are enough for me to stretch my legs, walk, you know, use the bathroom, kind of 
uh, wake up a little bit. Uh, sometimes I'm driving when I'm tired, and that's not a, not a good thing. Or you know, it, sometimes I've even taken a nap while the car is charging just because um, I'm starting to get a bit drowsy. So the, to me, the, the journeys are a little bit more comfortable, actually, even in an EV, because you're sort of forcing yourself to stop. And, and, and truthfully, I think a lot of internal combustion engine vehicle drivers are lying to themselves when they say, oh, it's only five minutes that I'm stopping. It's not really five minutes. You're five minutes pumping gas, but it's another five minutes to use the bathroom, another five minutes to stand in line, another five minutes to, you know, grab snacks. By the time you're, you know, said and done, you're probably 15 to 20 minutes, 25 minutes that you're stopping. But... Uh, you at least have the perception that you're not having to wait for your car to, to recharge. And I mean, the Bolt EV is by no means a fast uh, DC recharger, but it, it, it's fast enough that it's, it's, not, it's no longer inconvenient. And the Bolt EV has enough range to bridge the gap of some of the more spotty DC fast charging networks where maybe you have to go 150 to 200 miles between chargers. And really, no, no, none of the small battery EVs can do that yet. So uh, something like a Leaf or an i3 or whatever would really prefer to have the chargers no more than maybe 50 miles apart. Um, another cool feature of this website, though, in addition to this, is uh, the owner map. So this kind of shows the distribution of Bolt EV owners. Again, this is only the people that have registered on this website. Uh, but, you know, maybe a statistician or someone could, you know, say how representative 200 would be of the 8,000 or so that have been sold. So, um, and notice you'll see some of them, like the, the Bolt EV smugglers who got them in like Utah and Nebraska or whatever, um, out in Virginia. But clearly the areas where they've, the Bolt EV has been on sale for longer has a, a higher density of, of people. And, you know, that's representative of just the number that have been sold. So this is a pretty cool map. Uh, one thing you'll see is, you know, I think there, there's a lot of um, artifacts or things that are left over from uh, the Volt because, you know, like the 255 MPG, well, all the Bolt DBs are going to have that. So it's not necessarily informative, but uh, it's still nice to be able to see where everybody is. Um, and that's something, too, you can just sort of load up the other OnStar-equipped vehicles. So um, if you have an OnStar-equipped vehicle, you can uh, um, sign up to have this, this website sort of track your, your mileage and, and some of the statistical data. Uh, and, and again, if you go back to the home page, this is just that landing page with the leaders, the overall miles. Um, one thing, uh, too, though, is you know, you go to the monthly totals and it shows you how many vehicles are registered on Volt Stats, um, how many electric miles were driven uh, in that month, and then of course the average driving uh, per month. Now, uh, one thing quickly, I, I would like to see them add efficiency here. They have it for the Volt, but they don't have it for the Bolt EV. And I know that uh, OnStar does give the MPG in, uh, E information, so that would be nice to have just straightforward up here where you could look at it associated with your individual vehicle. Um, and then something else is a lot of people have pointed to this 55 to 60 miles average driving per day as an indicator of, oh, see, these people really didn't need a larger batter, battery vehicle. They could have just used a smaller battery vehicle. Well, I don't think that is 100% accurate. Um, because clearly, just based on this uh, statistically, uh, Bolt EV drivers are driving more than, say, that D uh, Department of Transportation uh, study that, that said a majority of Americans drive only 40 miles per day. Well, clearly, Bolt EV drivers are driving more than that. But I think the other important factor to consider is this is the average across the month. So if you don't drive at all on, say, a Saturday or Sunday, you take a day off of work for whatever reason, you carpool in, you take a different vehicle, that's zero. So that actually lowers the average. And then again, this is average across all Volt EV owners. So, um, you know, if someone is driving 20 miles a day on average, well, that's going to pull down the numbers for someone, say, who's driving 70 or 80 miles a day on average. And you can actually bring this up too, where, you know, this is a chart of the miles per month 
but it also shows you the uh, average miles per day. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's pretty consistent between 55 and 60 miles. Um, but one more indicator that I, I think shows that maybe small battery vehicles wouldn't be sufficient um, is this daily driving. So again, this is breaking down uh, what percentage of the trips are of a certain mileage on that day. And so you notice that a small portion down here, or maybe not that small of a portion, are, are, are only maybe like five to 10 miles, which those might be off days or days when people aren't driving at all or just running errands. So that will pull down the average. But you see the bulk of the miles really are somewhere between 20 and maybe 80 miles. So, you know, on those days, a small battery vehicle might be sufficient. Uh, you start getting past that and some of them you might need both charging at work and at home um, but then there's still a significant percentage that is over what um, any of the the current small battery electric vehicles can go so a lot of the bolt ev drivers are you know they're driving 120 140 160 180 200 or more miles per day um, what's not clear to this is is this to me anyway, is this dropping off what's past 200 miles? Because clearly there are some people who are driving over 200 miles per day, so it, it would be interesting to see if maybe this goes um, beyond that. Uh, something else too is this lists groups, and this is how I know that the, that the OnStar data has access um, to, uh, to the efficiency numbers. So say like this, this is the Bold EV smugglers group. They're the ones that were able to uh, get the, their Bolt EVs out of California before uh, GM uh, started preventing dealers from selling out of state. And if you look here at the group, like the MPG number, again, doesn't mean anything. Um, the uh, MPGE, though, is that efficiency. And 119 is pretty good. And if I remember correctly, it's, it's pretty similar, actually, to what the EPA um, rates it. So, um, but again, yeah, they even have their little description here. They're the Bolt owners who defied GM and purchased their Bolt out of state to get them early. And you can see sort of a distribution of the group on a map. Um, and then, a, you know, a, a few of the high mileage drivers are here for sure. Um, you know, this is a, the last Bolt smuggler out in Utah. Um, and then a Brian, who, you know, a lot of you probably know, who he recently did that 300 plus mile uh, on a single charge and did over 650 miles in a day. Um, he and I basically were, our reservations pre-orders for bolts were on the same day, but I switched mine to get one earlier. And I think his came a little bit later, but he was able to get it late December, early January, and then ship it out to Maryland. So, um, so it's all pretty cool. And of course you can break down the monthly driving uh, for this group and the daily driving and actually just to see for them um, You know, they're even a little bit higher than average 60 to maybe 70 miles average per per month driving um, So so these are higher mileage and that's something too that uh, you know if I go back to the owner map something to consider is I, I think there there are a lot of uh, people who are waiting on an electric vehicle because of the typical drive that they have is so much longer. So these city centers, they're always gonna be high in electric vehicle content, but it's because uh, uh, those electric vehicles and those drivers don't have to drive very far. But people who are out in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, you know, a lot of times they're driving 100, 150 miles a day just to get groceries. So. Uh, you, you know, I, I expect to see a lot of Bolt EV owners uh, pop up in these other states because I, I, I believe that this is sort of the first no-frills, utilitarian electric vehicle that someone in one of these rural areas could consider um, and, and sort of wait out as, as the DC fast charging network sort of fills in around the country. Um, and then just going back home again, like I said, it just like for me, um, you know, I do drive more on average than the average person. So, uh, you know, I, I put this here as a joke, so don't think it's not loading. But, uh, but yeah, you, you can, uh, if I go to my own monthly, 
you know, some months I drive more than others, like April was a short month for me, didn't drive a lot, but you can see from my average miles, yeah, none of the small battery vehicles are really going to work for me, and it sort of represents, I think, uh, what some people who have a more rural, um, live in a more rural area, or ha like for me, I, I, I skirt the line, I live in a metropolitan area, but then I also have family who's out in a rural area that I need to, to go and help out on a regular basis, so you know, my driving, and, and, and here you can actually see my typical commute. Um, it, it's between 60 and 80 miles, but then uh, the other days, my, my other typical commute is about 150. So uh, it, it, this is pretty representative. Actually, I, I haven't been driving as much recently, so even these numbers would normally be a little bit higher, um, whereas this, this is sort of, this is my baseline commute, actually. So... Um, everything below that is either a short day or I took a different route to work or whatever. Um, but this is more of uh, three days a week what I should be driving. So um, anyway, uh, I just again wanted to, to say hey, uh, congratulations guys on uh, guys and gals I guess on uh, Bolt EV's uh, uh, Bolt EV stats website. You know we. We got a million miles so far, and uh, good job, everybody. Um, and you know, maybe we'll get some more vehicles on here to get some more statistical information. I think it's useful to EV owners, prospective EV owners, people who are just sort of tracking trends and science, trying to see data. So, um, but yeah, again, congratulations, million miles. That's uh, that's big.